so maybe I can can start with a a, a story about my teaching. Uh, I actually uh, teach the PhD students at Cal economic history, and I used to always start. Uh, the semester's lectures with uh, discussion of why economic history matters, uh, which is a, a more specialized version of your question. And uh, o o over time, I, I grew more and more uncomfortable <laughs> with that discussion and ended up dropping it. It seemed to me that uh, I didn't, didn't need to justify the study of economic history. And it similarly seems to me, I, I uh, don't need to justify the study of economics. In, in, in my course, I just go immediately to the substance and start talking about important questions in uh, economic history. And I think maybe we should do the same thing in thinking about why uh, uh, economics matters or, or what economics is. But if you force me, I would say that uh, economics is the study of scarcity, of uh, choice subject to budget constraints. It's the study of how people respond to incentives. It's the study of poverty and prosperity and their fundamental determinants. Uh, it's the study of uh, social processes and human interaction. Uh, it's the study of how markets are organized and property rights are defined. It's the study of when uh, markets do and don't work or do and don't deliver socially desirable outcomes. It's the study of what, what determines those market arrangements uh, and uh, institutions and how markets and institutions change over time. It's the study of public policy. Uh, it's the study of uh, that part of society where people put food on the table. It's all of the above. <laughs> 